I'm Jorge. I'm a designer, freelance designer. I've done shirt designs for Fangamer. I mostly do shirt designs for Fangamer, but I'm currently also working on uh, different types of merchandise too, branching out from shirt designs to other things. Yo, okay. Gravity Rush cat. She has to have like some kind of fun pose. Oh, I drew over her. I would like to talk about um, like techniques and stuff I do, but I'm not even sure that I'll have time. Uh, what I can do, however, is go through like very quick stuff, like. I, my secret, my biggest secret, is that I use default brushes for everything. <laughs> oh, hey, Avi, good to see you. So, even with, even with my sketch layers, I tend to use, um, oh, I gotta give her some cool pose, because, like, Gravity Rush is such a... Like, it, it's a game that lives by its theme. I don't want her to just be standing around. I feel like that defeats the purpose of the character. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's give her, like, a, a little Scarlet Static Art. When I do character portraits, I also tend to, like, zoom things in a little bit. I feel like... I feel like the tighter the image is cropped um, on a character, the more dynamic it feels, at least in my opinion. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So, like, instead of drawing, like, a full profile, or, like, a full body picture, um, I tend to, like, zoom things in a bit. To just focus on like some kind of dynamic pose. So right now, like the thing I'm drawing, like her hand isn't quite fitting into the frame. So maybe this might be better better suited for a horizontal piece. What are you using the to toggle to eraser? Uh, the uh, shortcut, so E. B is brush, E is eraser, so I just toggle between those. Also, I set transfer to pen pressure to give it like a more like pencil-y feel. It's it's not really like it still looks like a default brush, but I like the fading. I kind of like seeing the the like softer edges to the lines. Though I don't erase very often with sketching. I saw you drawing Nina and I was like floored. I think one of your last streams I tuned in. I was like, "Oh my god, you just you just like you just draw a line and leave it there. <laughs> it's a very traditional artist thing to do. I erase way too often. This is why it takes so long. I'm constantly, like, correcting. No, that hand is a little too weird. Hold up. I'm gonna fix it. Yeah, I sculpt my lines too, but only after... Only only when I'm, like, cleaning up. There we go. We just, like, a rough hand. Um, and we'll clean it up later.
So I feel like... I want to see... I think I want to, like... Actually, I take it back. I think I want this to be a... Vertical piece again. <laughs> because... Yeah, I want to try, I want to try to, like, get as much of this silhouette in the picture as I can. I think her shoulder should be a little raised, yeah. But then so should her arm. Yeah, everyone tells me every time everyone tells me my sketches are really clean, but it's like I I I've, I have a hard time seeing it because I guess I I like I guess everyone just has a different definition of what clean a uh, clean line art is. You write like yeah yeah, Nita. My sketch my sketch phase might as well be my line art phase. That's the thing. The thing is like when I sketch like if if for this particular piece, um, I'm trying to just like go straight to line art. Um, and right now I'm just kind of doing like a rough version of that. But when I doodle, it usually looks like this. I'm gonna show you. When I doodle, it usually looks like this. Where's that? Yeah, I made a new layer. I would, I would basically do this. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, I'm working backwards from it, but this is literally what my doodles look like. <laughs> so, I, this is why I never show my doodle phase or, like, my sketch phase. Because the gap between, like, initial draft and then, like, line art is just way too wide. Yeah, construction lines are okay. This is where this is where kind of like my background shows a little bit. I never really, I never really went to school for like traditional art. I I, I studied graphic design, so like I had very few actual like drawing classes. A lot of the a lot of the stuff I learned is like self taught. So like I I grew up never really doing like Yeah, I grew up never really using stuff like construction lines or even for a long time I didn't even use skeletons for my uh body poses. And at times like it does show like there like there are flaws to that. I'm not going to pretend like it's better in any way. I honestly think every artist benefits from, like, traditional techniques. But I've been told, like, that that is also my strength. Um, I don't, I don't know how much I believe that. <laughs> this one guy, I remember this one guy once told me in college, like, you, you concern me, you worry me, because I don't even see you drawing, like, a skeleton or like uh, uh, like some kind of drawing under the finished line art and at first I thought he was being like mean or something but I think he was I think he was trying to compliment me in some weird way oh for animation no uh, Nina for animation though like all of that stuff is essential because animation is like a more like for a still drawing, I can I can improvise as much as I want, but for animation, something that needs to remain consistent throughout, 
uh, you absolutely need to <laughs> to follow some rules to make just for the sake of making your own life easier, you know. I'm gonna draw her hand, her other hand, like uh, a little bit force perspective here. Like I'm exaggerating it a little bit, but it just gives it a sense of uh, distance. I wonder if you would see her elbow though from this side. No, probably not, right? Although I'm not sure that it reads well. Yeah. Everything is set to snap. I do not want that. Actually, her thumb should look shouldn't be that way. It should be facing a little more downwards, like this. I'm gonna see if um. Hang on one second. Of things in terms of block to angle things better and identify front backside. I do a very light sketch and then do some construction lines too as I'm figuring it out. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Um, kind of start with construction, like normally, not now though. Kind of start with construction lines, lol, not always, but sometimes. Right, I think it's a like the more complicated a drawing is, I think I do tend to. Um, I, I do need to, like, use construction lines and, like, uh, skeletons to make sure that everything looks right in the end. Let me, uh, reduce the opacity on this ref. I think, yeah, the most challenging part is gonna be figuring out those lines on her dress. Kyo! Yes, thank you. Uh, the constraints are different too. You, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I use circles, just especially when I'm drawing people, like oval shapes. I, I think there's an apple in this game. I'm gonna draw an apple. She's gonna be dropping the apple. I really like this character, even though I've never played, like, any, like, either one or two. I played a little bit of Gravity Rush 1, but I, for some reason, I, I stopped playing. It might have been one of those, like, eh, I'll get back to this later, and then I never did. Actually, Nina, I do remember when your art used to be more angular. I specifically think of your, um... Your your novels, the the graphic novels you you made some time ago, with your samurai character. Oh, best part is gonna be drawing flowy hair. I think she she has like a sh like shorts or something like it's a one piece suit but it has like baggy leggings
No, I think, yeah, I think they reach a little further in like that, yeah. And then there's like a band. Actually, hmm. I'm looking at this again, it's like... How does this, how does this make sense? <laughs> oh yeah, that, um... That the... Was the giveaway explained already? Thank you. Is that you, Alex? Are you... <laughs> Are you modding? Yeah, I saw you explain some of it while I was gone. Yo, okay, so let me explain what happened earlier. Um, apparently, without a, without a patch, um, OBS Streamlabs will just eat up your CPU. It will just consume it. <laughs> and I, I like I, I went right before I restarted the computer. I checked Task Manager, and it was it was at ninety five percent. It was ridiculous. I had to uninstall it. I had to destroy it. <laughs> it was it was insane. So I'm I'm just using regular OBS now. Streamlabs OBS is relatively new, so I think they're still figuring the kinks out. Um, but my god. Oh. I think... Do I wanna... Okay, I might leave the... I might leave the decorative aspects of her dress for later. Yeah, yeah, let me focus more on, like, getting this pose down. I hope the person who requested this is here. No, I feel like that would have been really useful <laughs> for me to know before I went into this. I actually did not see that, Nina. really excited when they announced her for again I don't know I I like this character yet I never played these games but I got cuz I got really excited for um for the for when they announced the uh, oh my god y'all remember uh, PlayStation All-Stars when they announced the uh, when they announced her for that as DLC I got really excited but by that point I was kind of done with that game the ship has already sailed Plus, they never, like, they never... All those DLC characters were, like, kind of pricey, to be honest. And they never really went down on the price for them. God, I had so many... I had a lot of hopes for that game. I actually was, like, 100% about a Smash Brothers equivalent for PlayStation characters. Hope she never has to go to the bathroom, I know, right?
That's how I feel of a lot, about a lot of character designs, though. I hope they never have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, this one's nice. Oh, I'll check out that. I'll check out that tweet. Actually, let me like skim through it real quick right now. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is cute. <laughs> Oh, I see. The bands on her, the bands on her thigh are like all connected, even like all the way up to the pants. That's some way to figure this out, huh? Po trader, yeah. There's. Oh my god, like some some of uh, some of the dedication you see with like cosplay. I swear like I, I have a renewed respect for cosplayers like when I when I started frequenting cons more because of things like that, where it's like It's it's really not just about like dressing up in costume. There there's there's so much more to it. Even beyond, like, oh, I like this character. No, it's it's incredibly dedicated work that it just goes beyond like hobby. Okay, let's see if let's see if the placement I've had here so far makes any sense. I'll know once I start drawing these like on her on her like mid torso. I wonder if I can go into like a quick coloring tutorial. Maybe not with this one though cuz like I don't want to just do one request. I want to at least get like a few in. I've had to handle actors wearing that kind of, kind of, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That reminds me, um, Kyo, that reminds me of, um... Wait, Kyo, you're... Uh, wait. Are you Ice 5? I forgot, you're, you're like under a different name. <laughs> um... No, I was gonna say, like... Yeah, I was gonna say that reminds me of um not the not the helping go to the bathroom part, although I've have heard that like people have to do that for like movies and stuff. But I remember watching the um Yeah, I slide, there you go. Okay. I remember that um I was watching the documentary for um uh Bram Stoker's Dracula. The movie, the Francis Ford Coppola movie, and how um the costume designer Transform. There you are. The costume designer for Gary Oldman's um, specifically the specifically the Vlad uh, armor, the red like dragon armor that he wore in the intro. That like that thing was just like not practical at all. Even though it's like when you see it in the movie, it's like visually amazing. It looks like y you see like you see the first five minutes or 10 to 15 minutes of uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula and you're like, oh yeah, this is, this is like Castlevania. This is, <laughs> this is how modern Castlevania happened, was like this scene. <laughs> but um, that costume, the dragon armor he wears is so elaborate and so like, like extremely just a specific like design that Gary Oldman could barely move in it. 
and like he would keep breaking it while acting because he had to like emote so uh so much he had to move around because it's basically like the beginning is when um his wife elizabeth died um and he's just like he has to express all this grief and and angst in this like <laughs> in this like very very uncomfortable suit of armor and apparently he just kept breaking it <laughs> Because it was so, like, it was just way too, too much. I think I need to leave room for, like... I like to use the distort tool. This is my favorite. This is where this is where um where I become a filthy digital artist. <laughs> Weenie Weenie Town. Look, it's Lara. One reason I love simpler character designs, I can suspend my disbelief for Dragons and Magic. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> also, simpler character designs are easier to draw. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there's one more, like, little hook thing coming around here. This is actually extending in too far. So that's like the bulk of her dress. I have to draw her scarf now. Scarves are cool. I heard her story once about that lady in Greece. The final scene, she had to be sewn into her pants. <laughs> uh, Margo, I need I need this to be confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> Margo's here with me. She's she's her desk is like right behind me. She loves Greece. Could you imagine that being sewn into your pants? Wait, no, no, don't imagine that. I mean your pants being sewn. <laughs> There was one superhero spanning the costume where the opening to its zipper ran up one thigh on the other. The only way to get it off was to use a dentist hook to hook the zipper in. Oh wow! And one day when the actor had to pee, the customers, the co the costumers, the hook slipped. Oh no! But the question on everyone's mind is. Did the actor get to pee? <laughs> Did they make it? Imagine you cannot drink or eat anything. Yeah! It's like, well, use the restroom now. And don't eat anything for the next, like, three hours while we shoot. Alright. Just getting somewhere.
Okay. I think we can go on. Oh, another thing, another weird quirk about me. Um, I usually leave the face for last. Like the facial features and um, and hair. Like I usually save that for last when I'm drawing. I don't know. It's like a weird habit of mine. I don't know if everyone else is the same way. Let me kind of like, yeah. Let's give her a rounder head. Oh no. Oh, that's oh, Abby, you have a toucan costume. That's cool. The face is the first thing I draw. I don't draw humans. Problem solved. <laughs> have filmed on boats that have no toilets. Say the entire crew has. Oh wow. Oh no. Well, I learned something new. How do you resist the urge to put the wrong face in at the end? Hello, what the fuck, Alex? For the win. Whoa, I just said a, I just said a naughty word. <laughs> How do you resist the urge to put the wrong face in at the end? Uh, I don't. That's when you get yourself a pee funnel. Alex's fault. <laughs> I know. Next time I'll read it WTF. Note to self. I did not save this. <laughs> Photoshop. I'm trying to change tools, Photoshop. Let me do it. Let me reopen it. Yeah, save. This is normal, don't worry. This one's normal. This usually happens. Sometimes Photoshop would just like not respond to me changing tools. Alright, scarf time. Head. Yes, I know. She's so bootyful. She's so angry. Let's um, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to find an angle, the right angle for this for the hair when she's facing that way. Wait, no, her hair is pretty symmetrical. I think I'm. I think I'm good. Oh, let's see. The, I'm gonna show you why I like scarves. Because I get to do cool things like this. Do you ever flip canvas when you work? Sometimes, yeah. Like if I if I suspect that it kind of looks janky, um, I'll flip it around. And usually, right after the line art is done. Oh, that's right, I was gonna draw that apple. Apple from memory. Not bad, huh? I'm gonna try to speed this one up a little so we can move on to another request. And maybe, maybe try to color at least one drawing.
Scarves are the best composition device, right? 100%. Anytime there's a scarf, I'm like, yeah, this is gonna... The, uh, this is gonna be my frame. <laughs> I know you have a cube, but my request is Gex. <laughs> Here you go, Abby. I think he had a tux. I think he had a gun, but it was like a cartoon gun. I don't know which hand that is. <laughs> we'll leave him there for you. I know I know he I know he was smug. I know he was smug AF. And he and he would just have like the most dated movie quips. Even even for their time. I'm gonna clean up this handle a tiny bit, not too much. Oh, you know, something else I like drawing is nails. I often get sad when I see hands without nails, uh, in art. Please upload these to Twitter. Oh yeah, all of these are going up, don't worry. Like, I'm actually really happy, like, you know, <laughs> with Gex. I'm actually really happy with this, uh, cat drawing. Let me, let me make, like, a little bit of folds here on her wrist. Just to kind of hint at the fabric. Play a game with this music in it. All right. Um, as much as uh, as much as I like this face, well, you know what? We'll, we're gonna keep it around for as long as we can. Too flowy, too flowy. Just, just, just enough. There you
Now, is that really how her hair works? Let's set the... She has like a headband too. A little tiara. Type of headwear. Are... Is her hair covering her ears? This is very important detail. Yes, it is. Thanks for the host. Yeah, thanks. Actually, I should host this on my channel. Let me do that real quick. Her hair is like kind of round, yeah, like the shape of- it makes her head look bigger, but I think it's just like her hair being puffy behind her head. Let's make some cool wavy hairlines. Sakura from Naruto. What's Naruto? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Actually, you might be right, and I, I might have to fix that. Because I think her hair, um... I think... I don't think she has... I don't think she's supposed to have bangs like this. I think it's more like, just more hair. Yeah, it's supposed to like, kind of follow the same shape as the back of her head. Favorite show about frogs. Yeah, I know. Favorite Harvest Moon gal- are you asking the chat? Who are you asking? Me? It was uh, my request, but... Well, I don't know- okay, listen. I don't know who your favorite is. You have to tell me. But it's potpourri, right? Cause like... I don't know, you might have changed your mind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's my favorite too. <laughs> so. Alright. She's no longer grumpy, angry. Sorry, everyone. Actually, hold up. I'm gonna make sure we don't lose this to history. There we go. <laughs> Oh, she has a cat too, doesn't she? Yeah. I gotta draw a kitty cat somewhere. I guess like behind her. Yeah, like right here. Let's make a cat silhouette for now. Please, uh, I apologize for my cat drawing. This is gonna be a, a very improvised cat drawing. <laughs> Eve from the original. Like the Super Ness Harvest Moon? Yeah, wasn't there only like one 
uh, Bachelorette in the original. The secret to cats is lack of bones. You say that, but... I, 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 I cannot draw a good cat if I don't, like, actually look at one. Like, y'all are about to see my weakness. It's like drawing quadrupeds. That is my weakness. I need to look at, like, photos and photos of reference. I'm looking at a cat right now. I don't see any bones. <laughs> well, I don't have... I don't, I don't got no cats. I got a lizard. They have bones. This is a very, um, quick draw the kitty. Yeah, we'll figure out kitty details later. I get to draw the face. And for this, sometimes I do use, like... Yeah. Because I want to make sure she's right. I want her to face a... Oh, hold up. Yeah, there we go. Actually, her, her headpiece has a little bit of detail going on. And it's like kind of ornate too. good I'm actually for, for, <laughs> for a quick sketch I'm actually really happy with this Cats were out when you guys visited. Um, I think I think no, Lara. That was when that was when one of the cats like just went outside, and like we got really worried for it. Remember? I think that's why I didn't see them. I think I met one though. Tucson's nice. Wish I could go again this year. Yeah, Coco escaped. Um, but then came back later that night. <laughs> I want to say I did meet the other cat, whose name I cannot remember. She has cat-like eyes.
think I have to adjust the shape of her head a little. Just to match the angle better. Yeah, just like that. Catalina. Okay, yeah, she's naming uh, to the mountain range north of Tucson where I like to go hiking. Did we go? Is that where we went? Or where did we go hiking? That was really nice. The other one is Coconino. Named after the area where the Grand Canyon is. That's that's gonna be my next thing. Like if, if we go back to Tucson, I wanna try to get Grand Canyon that. Yeah, Sabino Canyon is in the Catalinas. That's where we went. Hello, PWS. PW Lost. Or P Blast? Pluas. How you doing? Um Yeah, I we went to so we went to um Do, 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 do. Hiking in Tucson is cool. I mean, I say that because I'm just not used to, like, that kind of, um, fauna and flora. Just, like, all the... All the, the different landscapes and everything. Like, I have never seen so much cactus in my life. So when we first went there, it was, like, impressive. I was very, very... She has very thin eyebrows. I was very um, impressed by everything because it was just like one of those like I have never seen anything that looks like this in my life. Grand Canyon is close to Nevada, but in Arizona. Hiking is a whole reason I like to visit. Uh, every time I've gone has been during Camp Fangamer, well, almost every time. Yeah, maybe I should make a trip down for that. I, I always miss Camp Fangamer. It's, it never, like, summer for me is usually, hey, look, it's Kai. Uh, every, every year for me is usually, like, around that time of year is usually, like, when I'm a little tight, a little strapped for cash, so. I tend to skip Camp Fangamer, which, which sucks, because, like, I think 2015 was the year I, I drew, like, the art for that cabinet Jack Murphy did. And I really wanted to go see that. Like, in person. I still get people asking if they can use that art for their own cabinet. First time seeing mountains was in Japan, and after that, Tucson, so it was an experience. Wow. Camps are weird and fun. Did you get to see any non space coyotes in the desert museum? <laughs>
Let's make her a little grumpy. Just a tiny bit more grumpy. Yeah. smirk. <laughs> I forgot about that Gex. <laughs> Javelinas are crazy! I saw that video, that one running down the road, and I just, I loved it. I don't want to see scorpions, Nina. Scorpions, like, actively frighten me. I should try a gravity rush. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if the original is on digital, but for some reason, Gravity Rush Remastered is, like, ridiculously expensive now. Like, the physical version? Also, Nina, just hang out in my house one night and we'll go to the UV flashlights. No! Oh, God. How could you forget him? <laughs> like, scorpions and centipedes are the two bugs I do not mess with. I, I do not- I do not F with those. <laughs> I used to be afraid of bees, but bees are good, so... I, I, I've tried to get over that, and I think it's worked for the most part, but centipedes and scorpions, no, no. I had a scary experience with a centipede when I was a kid. It, it was, it didn't even like bite me or anything, it was just like something that was impressed upon me. <laughs> And, and scorpions are just like mean. They just, they're just mean. Like, I see one and I go, I'm not messing with you. Let's get reference of this cat. Of this kitty cat. Oh, it's like a space cat! It's like a cat made of space. I gotta show- okay, hang on, I gotta show the- what I'm looking at here. Look! This cat is made of outer space. Crabs scare me? Crabs are awesome. I I'll say crabs are awesome. I like scorpions, but centipedes give me the heebie-jeebies, yes. Bees are cute, yes. I'm cool with nearly all creepy crawlies. Uh, yes, 80%. JMV, next picture, draw all the creepies to scare you. <laughs> uh, I'll do- I'll do it real quick, yeah. <laughs> Scorpions are not of this earth and they should not- they should be shot into the sun. <laughs> I think my favorite- like, scorpions are cool when they're like in cartoons and stuff, but if I see one in real life, I don't- I don't deal with it. I think my favorite local bug are the tarantula wasps. No, wasps are, ooh. Okay, wasps are third in my avoid this bug list. Crabs are delicious, yes. And so are lobsters, yes. Hermit crabs are adorable. I agree with Nina, hermit crabs are, are so cute. I used to, when I lived in Puerto Rico, I used to see them all the time. And I would pick them up and wait for them to come out just to, just to see what they look like. If you if you if you keep your hand very still, they come out. Um, it's great. Crayfish, crayfish are cute too. Quick, draw all your fears. <laughs> yeah, let me let me. Um, I'm about to be done with this one. I'm just gonna do like monochrome shading on on the rest of this and then move on to the next piece, but for our intermission piece, I will draw, like, my fears. <laughs> I will do it for you. 
Or at least the bugs I avoid. And I will do it without reference, because that just... Like, what better way for me to express my fear than to just, like, show you what it looks like in my mind? If you want to know my centipede story, it's... I When I was, like, a teen, I think I was, like, 11 or 12, I was playing outside in the backyard, and there was a, it was a huge centipede, um... Right, crawling up the wall into a window. Um, I think it was like the living room window. Like, it was one of the windows outside. And I thought, oh no, it's gonna get in. Hang on, I gotta draw the little stars on the on the space cat. I wish Ian was here to draw space stuff on this cat. I'm gonna commission Ian Wilding to draw, uh, just the cat from Gravity Rush. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> so the centipede is crawling up my wall. And I, I panic, so I grab a hammer, uh, from, from the, from the garage. And I smack it with it. Like, right in the head. You know what this guy did? He kept moving. <laughs> and this is what put the fear of centipedes in me when I was young. Um... This, this dude kept moving up to my window and I thought, that's it, they cannot be killed. This is the, this is the most terrifying creature ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Margo's been really good about like I don't kill cockroaches anymore. I try to I try to get them to leave the house peacefully. If if diplomacy fails though, I flush them down the toilet. Space cat. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do is Turn all the outlines to black and kind of clean it up a little more. Just here and there, real quick. No, no, like no strong detail. Ian Wilding collection, yeah, check it out. He just did, didn't he just do a Starbound shirt? It's so good. Yeah, no, Heartbound, my bad, Heartbound. He did a Heartbound shirt. It rules, yeah. is playing now. By the way, join the giveaway. Type exclamation mark giveaway and you will get one of my shirts from my collection. I believe it is the Jevil shirt that, I, that we're giving away. Yeah, World Revolving. You want a free World Revolving shirt? Enter the giveaway. You could be... You could get lucky. I think that's my best-selling shirt.
Yeah. Hey, Adelie. Oh, it just sets the... I was just saying earlier... I was just saying earlier, if you type uh, exclamation mark giveaway, you are entered for a chance to win the World Revolving shirt. So putting the exclamation mark at the beginning will just enter you in, in the giveaway. That way, you can just type the word giveaway if you actually are saying it and not be entered accidentally. Do like a quick. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick layer. Just kind of suggesting like this is gonna be monochrome. Actually, okay. Oh, oh, I got it. I know what I wanna do. I know what I wanna do. You'll see, you'll see. No, 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 Adelie. Uh, I'm doing... We actually got a bunch of requests in from... Um, from Instagram. And I picked Cat from uh, Gravity Rush. Because I thought it would make an interesting composition. And I also like this character. Also, I just got an idea while I was drawing her. Uh, I'm going to add another layer specifically for... Oh wait, this should also be the apple. I was I was talking about how I have both both Gravity Rush 1 and 2 on PS4 and I have yet to play either of them. Back when I sold most of my game collection, I kept those two because I thought, well, I don't know. I really want to play this one day. One more layer for her clothes.
in a Fire Emblem game? Modern Fire Emblem, yeah. I have a bit of a hot take about how you can... You can so easily tell apart um, classic Fire Emblem from modern Fire Emblem by how anime the characters look. Although that's like... Debatable because... Classic Fire Emblem just had a different anime aesthetic. <laughs> It was still anime. Oh, actually her... Her, um... The design on her shoes is different than what I drew here. Like, ooh, no, that's too big. Turn um, when I do monochrome art like this, I like to use like a lower opacity eraser for some of the highlights. It creates like a softer effect. shadow so it looks like it's further away. I should make my own uh, my own banshee beat mix if I stream in the future. Marth in a short tunic and green sandals is totally 80s. Yeah, 
Man, I do wish they kept the aesthetic from Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. Yo, like, Fire Emblem Echoes is some of the best designs, like that, that remake. I absolutely love the character design in that game. Like, 100%. One of my favorites. It is the only modern Fire Emblem game I played just because it looked that good. Is your line art drawn with a low opacity marker? Uh, not the line art, but the... We can probably just have Banshee make you a mix of these and too easy. Uh, I mean, I want to listen to more of his stuff. Yeah, yeah, I want to listen to more of his stuff. And then I will make my own. But that would be nice. That would be nice. If he is willing to do that. Alright, I'm, I'm at... <laughs> People who know me know that there's a point where I, when I draw where I have to, like, just call it done. Otherwise, I can just keep going. So, I think we are at that point where I should move on to another drawing. Otherwise, I, I can just keep going with this. I was just talking about this yesterday in my own stream where... I don't I don't have a I don't have a stop drawing button unless I'm just like tired. Echoes is so beautiful. Magic oh thanks Magic King. Yeah, save. Echoes is so beautiful, even if they didn't keep it for the new game, seeing more remakes in that style. Yeah, and it's like when you compare when you compare the new designs to um, the classic designs, it they they did such a good job like modernizing everything without making without just like straight up just like updating it and not 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 kind of came like giving no thought to like the original what the original what the spirit of the original was. Um, I think that's what I like so much about it. It like it modernizes that classic um, Fire Emblem style into something so um, so presentable, you know. Because you, you look at the old designs; they're very simplistic. Let's see that original face. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, where's Gex? Featuring Gex the Gecko. There's a secret Gex character appearance in Gravity Rush 3. Uh oh, I spoiled it. I shouldn't have said anything. I don't know why this cat is cut off. <laughs> Let me fix that. Oh, let me draw let me draw the cat's tail kind of like coming around behind her. That would be cute. <laughs> 11 out of 10 with Gex. <laughs> hi, hi, Biggie. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how you can just like... <laughs> Alright, and here's, here's the cool thing I wanted to do, like, real quick. And with this, I'll, I'll give it my sig and, yeah, and move on to the next one. Actually, I just put it right here. This has been my- this has been how I draw my signature. Like, with the J and the V, uh, connecting, and the M in the middle. I've been doing it that way since I was in, like, 7th grade. I'm not kidding. 
It's like the only carryover from my childhood in terms of my art. Oh yeah, Kitty's also a regular. Uh, Lady Ghoul sometimes frequents my streams. Margalop is always there. Cause she's right here. Kai's also a regular. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Looks like a hat with an M in it. White brim hat. <laughs> I've known Kai for a while, too. I have a running joke that, like, I, I, I gave the name Kai to Kaizen. <laughs> something neat. No, no. Pick the brush. Although that might be a little too bright for an apple. And then, yeah. Just kind of have... to do like a Let's see what looks better. I think yeah soft light looks better. There you go. Wait, is this how you color? Do the grayscale value? No, actually, uh, Nina, this is just like specifically for this piece. I, I do the traditional like line art first and then color normally. I wish I could show like um... next time. Yeah, next time I stream, I'll prep up some some of some files that I worked on for like shirt designs and stuff, so people can like eyeball them. That's, what I, that's one thing I should have done for this stream. It didn't occur to me till now that like I might not be able to get to a colored piece. But, Nina, there are some drawings that I have worked from grayscale to color before. I think one of them being... Um, I, can't, I can't think of one that's recent. I think some of my Puyo fan art is that way. Um, I know there's been, like, situations where I've done that before. Okay, there you go. Cat from Gravity Rush. Cat from Gravity Rush. Who, which was requested by Firestarwish96 on Instagram. Alright. So, as per request, I will draw bugs I don't like. Let me adjust the image size for this, though. Oh yeah, my standard is usually print sizes. Eleven by eight by eleven. Eight by eleven and eleven by seventeen are my standards. You should draw bugs you don't like, but as cute companions. <laughs> Is this the first request? No, Adelie. Well, okay, the first request I finished was Cat. 
Okay, so we were talking about bugs earlier and things I don't like. Or like things I fear. And centipedes is definitely one of them. I'm gonna draw a centipede. This is what a centipede looks like. And they have all these legs. But they all look like sharp needles. This thing looks like... Okay. Your fears in the style of Hollow Knight. I don't think I could achieve such a thing. I would stop drawing. I would quit art. Because it would look so terrifying to me. And then... These little... These barbs. I believe these are their venom barbs. Not only... So, like... This is already, like... The first time I saw... I didn't know what it was because it curled up over itself. The first time I saw Centipede, it burst open. <laughs> I'm telling you, all of my Centipede encounters were terrible. Um, <clears throat> someone was keeping it in a jar. And either they shook it up too much, or... It just something happened or like the pressure of the of the jar might have increased too much and it just like it burst from the inside it was terrifying i'm telling you maybe the, the reason i i don't like centipedes because like all of my centipede experiences have been negative <clears throat> oh my god oh yeah and then on top of that they have even more sharp pointy things sticking out of their butt. I will say though, I will say though, seeing a centipede like fight a, a snake or like bigger creatures in it and like take them down is pretty badass. Well, millipedes are fine. They just stink. <laughs> but millipedes are cute. They curl up. Oh yeah, and then there's scorpions. This is, okay, number one is centipede. Number two is scorpion. Now, here's the thing. Scorpions are badass. Scorpions are actually cool. I'm gonna draw one for memory, it's gonna be terrible. Because scorpions look like lobsters if they upgraded... Wait, are scorpions arachnids? Yeah, right? They have eight legs. Scorpions look like spiders. If spiders... No, not spiders, my bad. Scorpion looks like lobsters. If lobsters, like... If lobsters went for, like, the aggro venomous, tr like, skill tree... Like, all their experience points went towards, can I have, like, a stinger that can kill? <laughs> Heaven. <laughs> People requested I draw bugs that I don't like, so I'm drawing... I have a love-hate relationship with scorpions, though. I think they're legit cool. I just never, ever want to see one in front of me. Oh, by the way, they're... This one's angry. This one already saw you. No, spiders are cool, Abby. I actually like spiders. Spiders are friends. They'll they'll make they'll make webs around your house and protect you from evil. I welcome spiders. If I see a black widow though, I leave her alone. Cause yeah, I don't want to mess with that. But I, I'm not really afraid of them. Yeah, jumping spiders are tiny little puppies. They're adorable. Wait, I think spider legs or scorpion legs are longer. Oh, I do have a question. Does do the do the claws count as legs or do they have eight legs plus their claws? 
feel like I'm like Bugzona as an isopod. I just just walking along the ocean and eating whale poop. <laughs> yeah, poor black whale. My, I think, uh, Laura, my, my bug Sona is, a uh, dragonfly. Dragonflies are my favorite bugs. Like, top tier. Okay, and then number three in avoid this bug forever is... Yeah, you know this one. Y'all know this one. Uh-oh, I don't have room for the wings. This one has little wings. <laughs> this is a tiny wing wasp. Look, okay, the creepy- I don't know what it is. The creepiest thing about the wasp is, is seeing it in profile. Because, like, everything about this is threatening to me. First of all, look at, look at the eyes. The eyes of a wasp look like they're designed with with tracking systems this is how a wasp sees you when you see when when they approach ooh margo got a package in the mail <laughs> oh don't forget to lock the door yeah wasp as soon as they see you they're like target sighted also they have little, tiny little teeth here. Now, second thing that scares me about wasps are the legs. These legs look like they're designed like a crane. Like, see? <laughs> I see what you did there, Alex. <laughs> Third, and most importantly... The weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> it's your, it, it's it's I don't I don't know how to pronounce that. They know how to use that badonka donk. Yeah, their butts are designed to to pain to give you pain. See, the scorpion only has one of these. The scorpion can give you pain, and now it is venomous. This is why they're number two. So, because you gotta be careful. Also, one one cool fact about scorpions is um, the bigger they are, the less venomous they their their um venom is. Oh yeah, they pinch, but they only pinch so they can grab you, like. These are my scientific uh, observations. Oh yeah, type exclamation giveaway to enter for a free, to enter to win a free Walt Revolving shirt by me. There you go, thank you. Beskinectos, Beskinectnost, Beskinectnost. <laughs> Did I win? No. <laughs> no, no, not yet. <laughs> yeah, I'll just call you best. Um, I think that- no, 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 the, the winner will be announced 15 minutes before we end, so about an hour from now? <laughs> no, no, you didn't win yet. We don't know, we don't know. I think they use them to drill into trees and deposit eggs and- oh, that's actually badass. See, scorpions, they're number two because of their threat level. 
but scorpions are actually cool. Like, they're... They're cool creatures. I just don't ever want to step on one or near one. Centipedes are number one in my list because of personal reasons. Because I've just had like so many bad encounters with centipedes. That I've, pr that I've developed a personal vendetta. Okay, anyway, this is my scientific bug diagram. I'm gonna save it. Uh, honorable mention? Honorable mention goes to the, um, the cicada killer type of wasp that lives in Georgia. Alright, let's start a... I don't know if you've ever seen a cicada killer, but they are three times as big as a wasp. They have... They have red legs and, and like, antenna. They're yellow, black, and red. It's just, like... I, the first time I saw one of these, I screamed and, and ran towards my car, like, to get in and run away from it. However, the reason they don't make the list is that they don't harm humans. They actually, they are not interested in, they're not like wasps, where they see you and it's like, okay, I need to destroy that. They only hunt cicadas. That's why they're called cicada killers. They sting them inside and they eat them. Let's see. Nature's pretty metal. Yeah, nothing is more metal than nature. Cicadas are kind of scary too. Yeah, uh, cicadas are honestly cute. The problem is I don't like I don't like their sound. I don't like the sound they make. It, it actually gives me anxiety. Not when I can hear it, like, far away, like in the morning, that's fine. Or when it's raining, like, it's fine. But when I see one up close, they're so loud. Like, have you ever got up close to one? That hissing sound they make and then the buzz that their wings do when they flap. Oh, I can't, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do for this last one is I'm going to try to... I'm gonna try to group in, um, like, more than one character per request. So, let me take a few from, from the, uh, Instagram responses. I'm seeing Gino and Shante, so definitely gonna do those. Uh, A Hollow Knight as well. Those are those are simple characters that you can add to like. Uh, and then I'm gonna like like as I go, I'm gonna ask for like more to put around. Yeah, we um, I'm in Georgia. We get we get uh, cicadas around spring and summer. I also see a Napster one. So, okay, let's, um, yeah, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, like, a collection type of thing. That'll be the last request I'll do today. I kind of know how to draw Gino from memory. So I'm gonna try, like, originally I was gonna end at 7, but because 
because we lost a little bit of time earlier from technical difficulties, uh, I'm going to run a little later. So I'm probably going to... Yeah, I say 7, but I mean 7 Eastern time. Um, no, Adelie, this is not. This I'm just going to group a bunch of requests together. Um... Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, so uh, I was going to run for half an hour, but yeah, we're... We had a little bit of time loss uh, earlier because Streamlabs destroyed my computer. Uh, well, <laughs> figuratively speaking. Um, so I'm going to try to run for an extra half hour to make up for that time. Because I really do want to get to draw some of these. Shantae and Gino in Smash would be amazing. And Hollow Knight. My friends keep talking about how they want... Like, Hollow Knight would be such a cool, like, me sword fighter idea. And it would just work so good, like, with the me proportions. Just how, like, uh, Cuphead and Sans work really well as, like, Gunners. I think Hall and I would work really well as a sword fighter. Say little, but that dude's got a big head. <laughs> I believe his uh, horns are like this. I'll, I'll cross reference it later. Right now, I'm just gonna like lay it out first. Who else should I put here? Okay, how about drop some names? Let's take some requests from the stream. Since y'all are so nice. And so patient, and you've been so understanding. Raymond. Is that the. Is Raymu the. Uh... Oh, Lip is a good one. Uh... Raymu's from Toho, right? I actually don't know what she looks like at all. I just know she's ha she has like a priestess. Uh, design like maid slash priestess thing going on. Pete from Story of Seasons. Who's Pete? Which one's Pete? Oh, Beautiful Joe's good. Yeah. All right, those are those are good. I think I can work with those. Shante would be right here. Let's make sure her hair is accounted for. Like that. Um, he is the boy farmer. Oh, so just like the regular uh, player? Well, I know who he is then. Yeah, yeah. Pete or Jack. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember him as Jack. I remember that. Adelie, I didn't know that, like, uh, I learned this from Kitty Gorian, actually. I didn't know that, like, Harvest Moon became store. Oh, Game & Watch is good because he's easy to draw, so I'll, I'll slip him in there. Um, yeah, Kitty Gorian was telling me that uh, Story of Seasons is Harvest Moon. I didn't know this. Natsume kept the rights to Harvest Moon, but they don't make Harvest Moon games anymore.
let's put a uh, beautiful Joe right here. Just kind of draw his head and then figure out the rest later. No, v -Joe's, uh his hand sign is a little, like, might be vulgar, I don't know. Yeah, Natsume does Natsume does mostly uh, mobile mobile Harvest Moon games now. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just saw I just saw your Samus request uh, Eyes Five. Let's put I, I'm gonna try to slip somebody. Oh, here's here's where Gaming Watch will go. Lip. Uh, let's put lip here. I think her hair is like kind of like this. Uh, then Toho Girl Reimu will go right here. Make sure we can see her priest priestess item. I just don't know what those are called. Little staff with the paper strings attached to it. Bijo has a crest, so I gotta make sure it doesn't interfere with like the rest of the characters. So let's move her a little bit there. Honestly, I think Shantae should go because her hair is just too big. She should go where Rain went. Oh no no no! Wait, I know I know what to do. Yeah, she's fine there. Let's just add somebody else down here. Shantae a little lower. Like there. I'm gonna have Beautiful Joe flash his hand sign this way so it doesn't look like he's flicking you off. <laughs> Kamiya always with that double entendre. I know from Harvest Moon is through him. If all if Abby's still here, I'm talking about Andy. He loves Harvest Moon. Those strawberry cows that, that they were giving away with pre-orders of Story of Seasons are so cute, and I'm, I'm sad that I missed out. They're adorable. I saw like a, a bunch of Twitter people like sharing photos of them. I think the one I liked the most was, um, was, um, 
What's the PS1 Harvest Moon? <clears throat> I think it's a wonderful life, right? Ba yeah, back to nature. PS1 is back to nature. That's the one I really, really like. The N64 one is good, but I think I'm more nostalgic for it. I think I think in the end I do prefer the PS1 version. I saw Samus request. I don't know if you're requesting full uh, armor Samus or no armor Samus. Eyes five, so I'm just gonna draw her helmet like up here. <laughs> Helmet kind of looks like a bird. And then her big shoulder's gonna be right there. It's gonna look like a photo everyone's taking. Armor Samus, there you go. So, yeah, you're good. I have. Am I missing anybody? I have room for one more character. Let me see what. Let me see the Instagram uh, requests. Oh boy, I mean, someone said sand, so... There you go. <laughs> we'll put him up there. <laughs> and let's see... Someone just typed Earthbound, not really a character, so we'll put a Mr. Saturn somewhere. haven't done it, yeah, preferably if you haven't done so already. Goose? Alright, Goose. There. <laughs> Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. Where is he? There he is. There we go. Featuring Gex the Gecko. Alright, let's get started so we can at least get the line art done. I might finish this off stream. Or in a in a next stream. I don't think I'm gonna get through everything.
This reminds me of when I used to do my Inktober stuff. Like, I would just, like, try to do it so fast. I would try to do, like, five drawings a day for Inktober so I could get five days ahead. And then, like, put all my effort towards, like, one good piece. As an artist, do you have a suggestion of where to go for Photoshop brushes? No, because all of the brushes I use are default. <laughs> I was telling people earlier, that's my biggest secret, is that I don't I don't use anything but the default brush. At least for my personal stuff. I don't. Yeah, you know you know characters are cool when they don't look at the camera. Uh let's see the music is text bottom screen, poor translator. Oh yeah yeah. Oh, y'all are going like... Y'all were, were doing some Harvest Moon discourse there. That is a path I cannot follow. It's, it's still, I still cannot believe that Chante is like a thing, you know? I... Let me explain. I I remember when she was just like this obscure character in a Capcom published video game back in the day. Game Boy Color. I remember the magazine publications and I remember thinking the characters were really cute. But like, that game just like fell into obscurity for years. And it wasn't until they started re... They started redoing... Not redoing, um... It wasn't until the DSi came out... That... 
that like another Shantae game came out. And even then, I was I was amazed. I was I was thinking, I cannot believe this. This is This is something I never thought I would get because the problem was that um I I was one of those like I never played Shantae, but I was a fan of it by extension or by proxy, I guess, because I was always very nostalgic for things I only remember in, like, Nintendo Power. And back then, before I had internet, like, Shantae was so obscure to me. I don't know if that makes sense. It was a late era Game Boy Color game. Yeah, yeah, like, the, the Game Boy Color was out the door by the time it came out. And usually, like, end of life... End of console life games. No matter how good they are, they just never do well in, in the market. You know? And Shantae is one of those examples. So, I just, for the longest time, to, Shantae to me was like as obscure as like. What's an example I can... <laughs> right? Shantae to me was about as obscure as like Lil' Samson or... You know, at the time. Like, of course, a lot of people know about that now, but... It was along those lines. And then the DSi came out, and just out of nowhere, this new Shantae game comes out. Which I found out later was actually planned to be on the Game Boy Advance. I believe it was Pirate's Curse? No. The second one was, um... The second Shantae game is... Risky's Revenge. Yes, as obscure as Extreme Sports, that's a good one. That's another very early way forward game. Like Ninja 5 0 <laughs> on the Game Boy Advance. Like games that nobody talks about. And for a while, that Shantae was that. Like nobody talked about Shantae. And now, like, she's everywhere. It's still surreal to me. But I mean, it's good. I feel like it's one of those, um, it's one of those IPs that I, I, I am glad it's relevant now. Like I Okay, yeah. Every time every time there's an obscure game in GDQ, I, I get excited. I remember I don't know if it was last year, they had um Euphoria or Hebereke. Um That was that was also cool to see. Like, oh they have <laughs> now I can talk about this game and people will kind of know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ninja 5.0, it's such a good game though, and it's unfair that it's so obscure. It's actually good. I think the name didn't help, and the fact that again, it's a late console, a late console life game for the GBA. Thank you. 
Yeah, I agree, Bat Facts. Like, I I don't want to pay $250 for Ninja 5 -0. Or however, I think it's 500 now. Like, I, I haven't been game collecting in a while, but... That game deserves to be played. It's like a good example of, of how an action 2D platformer can have the same kind of dynamic gameplay as a 3D platformer. That's how good that game is. It has like... It has elements you'd only see in a 3D platforming action game, but done in 2D, and it's done really well. Like, the grappling hook mechanic is really fluid, really useful in combat. Um, you get to use stealth, because you're a ninja. <laughs> Oh, Margo, bye. Oh, hi, Margo. <laughs> There's so many games that need a digital remaster or release of some kind because buying used copy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, bad facts. Me and a friend of mine were talking about the Sega Saturn the other day. How many, like, really, really cool and obscure uh, JRPGs are on the Sega Saturn? All those working designs JRPGs on the Saturn? Um, like Dragon Force and uh oh what's another one? Basically Sega Saturn is like I I I, I don't know. It's one of the reasons I gave up game collecting, is cause like all these games I cannot afford. Because of the aftermarket demand, this is just, it just increases every year. So yeah, I would absolutely love for some of those Sega Saturn titles to get re-released. I've actually been thinking a lot about Nights lately, Nights into Dreams. Oh, this Shantae looks cute. She turned out really cute. Some, for some expensive games, like the Sega Saturn, I would probably get a flash card. Like a, a, a what's it called? It's when like you you turn the you turn the optic loader into a hard, not a hard drive, like a. I think it's just called a loader. Where you just use a you just use a, an SD chip or an SD card. So instead of running games from like the optic drive, it'll just load them from the memory. At least it feels like over years. Folks have finally realized like, Fantasy Star 4 is one of the 16-bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing with Genesis is that like Bad Fast, the thing with Genesis is that like it wasn't exactly known for JRPGs. Fantasy Star 4 is cool though. Uh, I think most people remember the Super NES being the JRPG console. 
My husband is a virtual boy collector. Totally doable because they're so- Yeah! <laughs> you could- you could find, like, listings of- uh, what, back when I used to collect, I could find complete, like, virtual boy library listings on eBay. I mean, specifically for the US, but yeah, no hassle. Just like, one purchase and you're done. You got a complete Virtual Boy collection. <laughs> I never got the Virtual Boy though, because I, I, uh, I, no, I don't want it. I'm good, thanks. Nintendo, I feel like Nintendo missed an opportunity with re-releasing uh, Virtual Boy games on 3DS. Hot take, I guess. Oh, he's probably... I'm gonna guess Eyes 5 that the one he's missing is uh, the Jack Bros game. That Shin Megami Tensei spin-off one. That's the most expensive one. It's a similar situation with how the PlayStation is considered a system for JRPGs, but the Saturn had some amazing ones too. That's true, yeah. The problem with the Saturn though was it was expensive, and it came out like months after the 32X. So like nobody had a Saturn. Mario. <laughs> I hope it's Waterworld. <laughs> Waterworld on Virtual Boy. A match made in heaven. What's crazy is the Saturn is way more popular in markets outside of the US. Yeah, Genesis usually, or not Genesis, Sega consoles in general are really popular outside of the U.S. I know South America is a huge market for Genesis, or was, and still is. a game called Dragon Hopper that got a two-page spread on Nintendo Power that never came out, but I was so excited. Yo, oh my god, I can tell you, there's been, I had a few, like, a lot of my memories of, like, magazine, like, articles on, on games and stuff is how I, it's the reason I got into uh, game collecting back then. It's because I wanted to play all those games that I only ever read about. When I started having an actually, like, a job that paid actually decent, um, I decided to spend some money on old games that I never played. This is where I'm drawing Mr. Game & Watch. And here's his hand. Sega was a total mess in the U.S. and J uh, Japan branches, butting heads constantly. Meanwhile, South America and Europe just chilling, enjoying themselves. <laughs> and yeah, Sega Genesis actually sold out the SNES in the U.S. That's what the that's what the console wars kids never talked about, right? The Genesis was around longer than the uh, Super Nintendo, so it just by by sheer by virtue of the numbers, it sold better than the Super NES did. That's why it's easier to find a Sega Genesis in the aftermarket than it is a Super Nintendo. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm taking a page from your book, Nina. And drawing a group photo before I leave. I'm trying to draw beautiful Joe's hand. When he's doing that weird... I'm not really flicking you off hand sign. <laughs> Actually, let me, okay, I mean, I might have to reposition this a little bit, because Mr. Saturn cur is currently floating in midair. So, I might have to, let me move Beautiful Joe lower. Doing a squish group pick is a good idea, because you don't have to worry about posing as much. Yeah! It's just faces, basically. I gotta make a confession. Somehow I have three Genesis, Sega Genesis Model 1s. A Model 2 and a Model 3. Uh... Do you want us to intervene for something? <laughs> I, I actually, I regret selling my Sega Genesis 1 model for a 3. Um, I got the 3 because it's more compact and I don't really have a lot of room in my place for stuff. Another reason I gave up game collecting. Uh, I'm actually gonna need Beautiful Joe reference. It's a V and a J? What? You're blowing my mind. That makes way more sense. Needs to be a little sh shifted to the left. Like there? Yeah. And then he's got like a. Yeah, like a line. Thank you. 
Gotta have all Sega. Wonder if we'll ever see Beautiful Joe again. I wonder too. One day I will get into the lucrative trade that is limited edition Dreamcast collecting. Please don't. <laughs> Did anyone else kickstart the Sega Genesis book? Not. I don't think so. I think I missed the Genesis book. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. Can we post URLs here? We'll announce it in 20 minutes. Ooh! Also, that's my cue to hurry up. <laughs> This little, this Mr. Saturn just being kind of, <laughs> just kind of fitting in there. All right. I wonder if we can get through all these quick. Um, Gex, my dude. I think you're just gonna look like that. Yes, bat facts. That is how you. That is how you give away. Actually, yeah. A reminder: like, if you're gonna, uh, if you want to enter the giveaway now, do so. Uh, we're about to announce the winner in 20 minutes, I believe. Uh, yes. Gex will stay this way. Uh, let's see. Now I need reference for this guy. That's it, he's done. <laughs> Alright, next up is Lip. Panel the pawn. Her swirly little hair she has like on her right side. Uh, she has like elf ears. I guess she's a fairy. She has a little flower on her chest.
Oh, she has earrings. Yeah. I think <laughs> I gave her a bit of a smug look. Let's do Reimu real quick. She's the only one that's like very detailed that's left. <laughs> like pathetic. With enough hairspray, anything is possible. If I had more time, I would make an alternate version of Lip where she's saying pathetic. <laughs> Alright, Reimu from Toho. Oh my god, there's so many versions. I'm gonna find- I'm gonna pick the first one. I'm gonna pick the first one I see. That's too cluttered. Yeah. She has dark hair, so... I might actually finish this in time. Or with, like, maybe bleed over a few minutes, but I might actually be able to do something that's close to finish and presentable. Also, I hope I hope Heaven is pleased with the version I picked of her. Thank you. 
love this face. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or if I don't. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I think it's the mouth, yeah. There. This is kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, she's like she's like giving you a weird look earlier. I had to change it a, bit, a little bit. The great thing about Toho characters, the original design is so inconsistent you can just do whatever looks good. Okay, great, because I, I am I am in a rush. But honestly, she's the one I was most, uh, most worried about uh, taking too much time, but I'm like almost done with her, so... Works for me. Excuse me, Gex. I need to adjust your suit a little bit. Sands, and then Samus, and we will be done! So is Gex a Toho character? to draw his his uh, skeleton cheeks there he has skeleton cheeks okay very very important part of sans design is his skeleton cheeks ah cheekbones Oh wow, like yeah, I just need to do Samus. I didn't think we would I didn't think I would get here, but I did. Just gotta draw Samus in this little corner of hers. The Smash DLC roster! <laughs> Honestly, like some of these characters that I'm drawing here would be amazing in Smash. That would be so cool. If Beautiful Joe got into Smash, that would be so dope. Alright, and then finally Samus. I wanna go with a... Uh, Super Nintendo Samus.
I've come to really like this song. <laughs> Draw swipe beat on her like uh I don't think I I don't think I fit <laughs> I don't think I'm in the frame <laughs> right before they took the photo she's like uh oh I think I'm too big the baby. Tatsunoko versus Capcom 2 roster. Heaven, like, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I'm talking about, speaking of, like, underrated games. My god. That game got done dirty. It deserved better. I'm gonna draw her giant shoulder pad here. So that people know. And now you know that how big Gex actually is. He's tiny. He's like the size of a chimp. <laughs> oh wow. Actually got all these characters in here. Quick, quick, think of one more! Aw, uh, Starfy, yeah, yeah. What does he look like? <laughs> Chibi Robo! I like Star- uh, I like Chibi Robo better. I'll draw them both, they're easy. Yeah, Starfy just has a big mouth. People are gonna think this is a this is a Luma from Mario uh, Mario Galaxy. I'll fit Chibi Robo somewhere because he's tiny. He's a he's a he's a baby boy. I have the Chibi Robo amiibo on my desk. It's one of it's one of my favorite amiibos. Probably my f most favorite amiibo. My top favorite. There. There he is. It's Chibo. I love Chibi Robo. That's probably my favorite GameCube game. <laughs> okay, okay, Nina. It He's just closer to us. <laughs> Don't think about it. But Chibi Robo! No, Chibi Robo is really, really small. Okay. <laughs> Please do not think about it. I'm gonna wait till the winner is announced. Um, 
And I'm just gonna like kind of color thing, not color, just like add some half tones here and there. If Chibi Robo son Chibi Chibi Robo, there is a Chibi Chibi Robo. That's canon. Gex is so cool, yeah. <laughs> Gex is like the... Gex is the player here. Yo, again, like if this was... If all of these characters made it to Smash... That would be like... That would be too much for me. I, I, w I don't know what I would do. Chibi Robo has been like in every one of my Smash wish lists. Obby! You got it, bro! Oh man, we were talking about, uh, we were talking about, dude, that's awesome. We were just talking about Deltarune yesterday over my stream. Now that I think about it, that's awesome, dude. Alright, so let me, yeah, let me do some quick, uh, quick half tones here and there. And then we'll be... we'll be done. Yeah, just enough to like differentiate like everyone's position relative to the piece. They become more discernible. It also just looks nice. But yeah, um, I'd like to thank everybody for joining today. I I would especially like to thank everybody for their patience earlier. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, you folks are the real ones. Uh, it was I was not expecting my first fan gamer stream to like immediately have technical issues. <laughs> can't say I can say I was too happy about that, but I think it worked out in the end. Uh, I'm glad everyone had a good time. Let me focus a little bit. There we go. Yeah, and I'll be posting these like um, on my personal Twitter, which is Jman Velas. It's right there. You can see it on the. You can see it on the stream. But yeah, um, yeah, Nina is going to stream next week. Uh, next week on Thursday, July 23rd, I believe. Yes, July 23rd at 1 p.m. PST. Yeah, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Nina is equally. Honestly, Nina is more awesome. Like, 
Uh, in terms of body of work, Nina's for Nina is like supremely awesome. Um, just the the I'm always impressed at how diverse um, her stuff is. Like just just one design from the next. Uh, always experimenting, always doing things. Like one of the things I really like about Nina's style is how it's very good at like it just. Like, I don't know how she does it. She, she just, like, makes everything look so pro. Um, and, like, official. But, yeah. Um, check it out. Stay tuned for that. I... I am done. I am done here. And I will be seeing y'all hopefully sooner than later. But for now, I am gonna say goodbye. All right. Take care. Oh yeah, yeah. Follow follow this channel, please. Like, uh, I believe not just Nina, but like uh, um, other artists as well. I believe Tony uh, streams here. I believe Jack Murphy streamed here uh, last time. But yeah, stay tuned. Um, keep yourselves good and healthy, and and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.